I mean, I don't have a player that I specifically want to win this Evo. Uh, I'm just hoping for a good match all around, like good games. I mean, I guess if I had to pick, I think I would want... I believe it's Chikorin who is playing Lily. I would want to see Lily win. Uh, but beyond that, it's... Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of neutral. I'm just hoping for good games, to be honest. I'd like to see Infested win this simply because I don't see too many Nina players out there. Like Nina's a hard character to play at a top level. Um, so I don't see too many Nina players, so I think it'd be interesting to see Nina do well. Damn, look at that combo, you see that? I don't know how I feel about that outfit though, I think... I think her outfit where she doesn't have the jacket is better than this one. Also, the Tekken 7 wedding dress looks really nice in this game, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, just a personal complaint, or, I don't know, opinion there. The good thing about this is that it's top 6, so it's definitely going to cut back on the time. Because if it's top 8, then it just run. you know, the tournament runs for like, psh, a good 30, 30 minutes more, 30, 40 minutes more sometimes, I don't know. Because with all the breaks and everything. I'm surprised Loha isn't playing Shaheen. Shaheen is a character that's actually really slept on in this game. He's really good. Not to mention not many people know how to play versus Shaheen because of how uncommon he is. He's not, he's not really popular, but um, he, he's actually really good in this game. But I guess you can't go wrong with Dragonov. You really can't in this game. Ooh, I thought that back so was going to hit. Good counter hit. Try to go for a third one. It's always hard to land that third counter hit. QCF1. Okay. Oof. Dude, I don't know if you saw the payout. So... I don't know what's up with Tekken. Um, wow. Okay. The payout for Evo, it's not good at all. It's not good. Oh, why? Oh, I don't know if that was a missed input or if I don't know if he was trying to go for a hard read there. That's sad. That's unfortunate. I feel like he could have gotten that. Oh, that sucks. I mean, he's even kind of like, dang it, why did I do that? I gotta adjust here. That's a small evil trophy. Just check and chat here. Oh, I got him to push, I think. It was a little bit scary there. I was wondering if he was going to get the tornado flip. I think 
to be safe in that situation, what I would have done, I would have done a wall splat move. So, you know, Playhouse of Sun, I would have done one, two, and two, a full combo or Rage Heart at that point. I would not go for a launcher just because of the risk of it being a weird positioning. It's happened before. Good break on that. Oh, bad whiff. Oh. oh, unfortunate. Okay. Oh, this is a team kill match. Both are sponsored by the same, uh, same team. Both Korean players. Dang. Dang, look at that. Nina pressure. Holy moly. I know a little bit of Nina. Um, definitely not an expert Nina player, but I know enough about her to be competent. She's just, execution-wise, really, really heavy. Especially, like, especially if you want to go into the more technical stuff, like all the advanced, like, instant butterflies, um, whatever the heck, right? She's a fun character, though. Hey, what's going on, Steve? What's up? Nice to see her still awake. Hey, Steve, what'd you think about that Lydia? Dude, I'm so happy. Very nice counter hit there. This is a pretty even matchup. I think that Infested kind of threw it on the, the last round, last match. Did he just try to... Hey, dang. I thought he was going to go for the 10 hit there. Alright, heat activated. Ooh, good break. That could have been crucial. Oh, nice duck. He could have died there. Oh, heat activated. Last shot. This might kill. I think this is actually going to kill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yep. I would, I would have been amazed if that didn't kill. A little disappointed, but I guess you'll wait and see how she plays. <laughs> You're just glad it wasn't Julia, dude. Julia's coming back eventually. We all know that. I thought you'd like Lydia. Or were you just were you just hoping for somebody else? Like who in specific? I know you like Bruce and Lay. I mean Yeah, I, I get that though. I tried to learn how to play Nina and she's not easy at all. You gotta put your hours in. Yeah, yeah, like, she's she's a hard character to play at top level. If you want to be, like, completely optimal and do everything right, yeah, she gets pretty tricky to play. At a standard level, you know, just for... Uh, in terms of just the basic understanding of the character, uh, simple. Everything else is comes later. Oh, that sucks. Are you going downstairs? Oh, maybe not. Ooh. You're hoping for Fakaron? Okay, okay. I might give Lydia another shot. Yeah, why not? I'm excited to see how Lydia plays in her uh, with this new heat system. I'm sure people wanted Anna or Armor King, but that'll be season two, I hope. I think so. I think I think season one is gonna be 
Like, the reason I was so sure that Lydia was going to come back is because, as I mentioned, I've been kind of saying this, uh, is that she had a very short lifespan in Tekken 7. You know, the a new original character, uh, you know, pretty interesting, uh, lore-wise, I guess. So they put all this time and resource into Lydia, but only to have her release at the end of Tekken 7's lifespan. So they're they're 100% going to bring her back. Um... Ooh, if he's gonna come back, cannot make any single mistakes. Oh, wow, very nice. And look how composed he was. Stone face, complete, no reaction whatsoever. I like that. That's a sign of a cool, calm, and collected player. That's the type of player you want to be. He had a good start, but then he got uh, thrown. Oh no, oh no, look at Dragunov, how much damage he made up just with one attack. Ooh, that could have been a bad whiff. Oh, last shot for uh, Infested, oh, that's it. What's he gonna do? Yeah. Unfortunate, I thought he was gonna make a sick comeback after that momentum shift in the last round. Well played though, he still has a shot. Might be Asasena main and Lydia's a secondary. <laughs> I think that's gonna be my roster. I'm gonna be, you know, Asasena is my primary main right now, and then Lydia's gonna be my secondary, and then I'll always have um, Lily, Eddie, and Safina now as like a uh, backup if needed. Uh, characters I know how to play. I think for Season 1 DLC, so we have Eddie, we're getting Lydia, I think... Hmm. I don't know, I think Anna might be, might, might make it in this season, to be honest. It's gonna be either Anna or Julia. And then season two, season two is where I think we're going to get a guest character. And, you know, there was this one interview where Harada or Michael Murray said that they're not going to focus on guest characters in the beginning for season one. So, if they, and this is where he screwed up. I don't know what that was. Um, I think what's going to happen is that season two, they're going to introduce guest characters. I think it's either going to be Tifa or... Because, you know, you got to ride the momentum of Final Fantasy VII's hype, right? Uh, the remake, especially now that it's... Uh, you know, it just came out, you know, Rebirth, right? So... I definitely think it might be Tifa or... Um, What's uh, 16's name? Clive, right? Final Fantasy 16? I think it might be either either of them. Hoping for Fakura, Miguel, or Anna. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, Miguel. I think Miguel is going to be part of Season 1. I, I think he is. He's either going to be... Hmm. He might be the next one, actually. Because Lydia's coming in the summer, so I think Miguel might be in the fall, to be honest. Seems like it'd be a safe bet. <laughs> Chanel versus Chikorin. Alright, so this is going to be Elisa versus Lily. I'm interested in this match. People are now slowly finding out how good of a character Elisa is. She's a really good character, especially when she has chainsaws activated. Lily in this game is also really strong. I think a lot of people... Well, she's, she's definitely a strong character. But I feel like she's... 
flying a little bit under the radar. Not not entirely, but everybody's so focused on, you know, your Dragonovs, King, June, whatever the heck, right? So characters like Elisa and Lily are flying under the radar, but they're actually really, really good characters. I almost dropped my phone. I'm glad I caught it. On a happy note, you got Asasena to yellow rank. Not bad. I like that. Congratulations. Making progress. Is that perfume they're advertising or something? It looks like it. <laughs> Alright, this is an interesting matchup. I'm, I'm really curious to see who's going to win this. <clears throat> Plus you think Asasen is the closest to Bruce you can get for now? Yeah, I could see that. I mean, they're both MMA. Um... I mean, Bruce fights with uh, Muay Thai. She kind of reminds me of Josie, to be honest. So yeah, like a mixture of both of them. Dang, quick round for uh, Chanel. That was 20 seconds. I mean, 20 seconds is a lot, actually. Quick round would be 10. Maybe 8. Very nice duck and punish on that. What's the combo? Is he gonna go downstairs? Goes for the wall. Spike. Okay. What up for the ender? Goes it. Goes for it again. Okay. Three plus four for the win. KO. One round apiece. Okay. Dang. Chainsaw, right? Just like that. Okay. Okay. Trading uh, down jabs, 1-1. One, one. Does duck Elisa's 1-1. One, one. Okay, gets a heat engager, 4-4-4 four, four, four into the... Oh, crap, dang. Nice sequence. Very nice. I'm just glad the... You're just glad the stuff coming out is free. I like that, too. I'm glad that they're doing free content, and there's a lot of it, too. I'm happy about the photo mode. I'm hyped about that, because... You know, that's going to be really good for my thumbnail game on YouTube, right? For all these videos. And I, it's just fun overall to have. I was kind of investigating, like, man, is there like a free camera mod that I can use? Hey, but now there's no need for that. I mean, just got to be a little bit more patient, but I'm happy for it. And then the story mode, like Eddie's getting his story chapter. Uh, you got the new stage, right? Dang. People crying about Harada being greedy. I mean, I, it's it's kind of a weird situation because, number one, the company has to make money somehow. And they say they're... Ooh, that's death. That's death, 100%. Heat dash. Oh, not even. Heat dash. He could have done a heat dash. All right, he still got the... Okay. Anyway, back to the, back to the topic here. Um, I mean, yeah, the company has to make money. They say they're going to reinvest that to make the game better. And, you know, good on them for that. That's good. Um, I can see what people mean, though, right? Uh, you can look at it two ways. You either pay for it or you don't. But, you know, always going to have people who are happy, not happy, tech with the tech and shop, stuff like that. Um, the Battle Pass, they need to work on that, though. They, they have to make a better fight pass next season or whenever the next one comes out the it was it's a little under it's a not not a little it's really underwhelming there's like maybe like two three things that are good in it i mean dude look like level 45 in the fight pass the battle pass it gives you a ball a premium ball man that's crazy I also heard that apparently Harada himself doesn't, wasn't quite on board with, you know, the, 
microtransaction, whatever the heck, right? He wasn't quite on board with that, but the executives who have the final say ultimately wanted it to happen, so it did happen. I don't know how true that, I remember seeing it somewhere. Um, there might be some truth to that, but yeah, like it's, like I said, it is what it is at this point. You really can't do much about it. Nice. Figure out her. Oh, yeah. Figure out who you're gonna. Um... Okay, so you're gonna do TNS. Figure out who you're gonna use. Okay. Oh, you've committed Asasana now? Or gonna try her out in the tournament? Okay, okay. Yeah, let me know if you need, like, a. If you need any type of training. Like ditto matches or anything to warm, I guess, uh, to warm up, get you prepared. One launcher can kill anybody here. 10 seconds. Oh, that could have been. Okay, I like that. I like that. But that thing heck attracts. I like the down three there. I was worried that he missed a launch opportunity on the back, but he adjusted well, Chikorin. He, he, he adjusted really well. Look at all this pressure. Alright. Stuffs him out of it. Okay. Down forward one. Goes for the down forward three plus four. He gets blocked. Chainsaw stance with Elisa. Now just like that, Elisa with the momentum. Okay. Good punish. Whiffed on the down. Okay. Good hop kick. If he does the right combo, this is going to go to the wall probably. Oh yeah. Ooh, very nice. That's it. Very nice. I love that. I like the adjustment there. Very nice Lily play. Be free tomorrow. Wanna... Oh, okay. What, what time are you free tomorrow? Okay, another late day. That's fine. I, I think, yeah, I think that should definitely work with me. I'm usually up late anyway, as long as I'm not doing anything the following day. That was a really good round he had. The final combo to get him that match was insane too. Like the adjustment. Like right here. Right. He gets that hop kick, right? Dang, look at the adjustment there. I like this right here because I thought he was just going to go for the full-on heat engager into the wall, but no. I like that. Situational awareness for sure. Alright, so we're back to... Uh, Infested. I think he, he might stick uh, stick with Nina. I'm not familiar with the other guy. What's his name? Mancha. Mancha. Yeah. I'm not familiar with this player. Mm. 
パンサーはねあの昔から鉄拳特区2ぐらいの頃から、うん、鉄拳6もそうですねこの、うん、ロー使いとして韓国の6からもう本当にいるベテランプレイヤーだなという印象ですねまるで、うん、はい。数字体がもう15年ほど前なんで wonder who is gonna use れる統合なんですけれども元々はねすごい汗感のあるタイプのプレイヤーとして知られてますね確かにやっぱりなんだろうなその丁寧なプレイっていうよりも、うん、まあどこかでその二択をこううまく決めて、うん、かつ特にそのローのサマーソルトのヒット率とか、はいめちゃくちゃ高いプレイヤーだなという印象あったんですけど、うん、昨日のこの試合とかを見てみると、はい、非常にスタンダードに、うんうんまあ、非常今回、ロー非常にそのパワーもある、はいえー、キャラクターになってるんですけど、その強みの部分をしっかり生かして、丁寧に勝ち切っていくっていうような、はい、プレイスタイルに見えました。さあこのミーナ対ローという組み合わせになりそうなパワーがありますけれども、うんねまあ、共にかなり接近戦の,あの回転が速いタイプのキャラクターではあると思うんですけど。はいうん I like that transition, it's pretty cool. Okay, so he's a law player. Okay. It's probably one of the sickest outfits in the game. Tribute to Bruce Lee. Ooh, crap. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Dang. Oh. I think out of all the characters in this top six, I'm surprised that、um, Law made it. Two of them, actually, from what I've seen. What I've heard, at least. Oh, he pushed, he pushed. Crap. Man, he's really aggressive. He's playing fast. Infested seems to not quite know how to handle the pressure at the moment from, from Mangcha and his law. Look at that. Like, he's getting hit when it gets Heat Engager. Look at all this. Holy moly. He hasn't gotten a chance to breathe. Okay, this might be the momentum shift, though. All right, gets the,、uh, the break there. It's going to take him downstairs, I assume. Activates heat. There we go. Oh. Ooh, that could be death. No, not quite, not quite. Ooh. Oh, no. If this, I think this might leave him at one pixel, though, but he's regaining health, Mangja. Mangja's regaining health. He could still win. Oh. That was a bad wake up. It seems like Infested gets close to closing out rounds, but then he just. It seems like his opponent just gets the upper hand at that point. And he's playing well. I mean, he he was a bit stiff the first two rounds. He seemed to pick it up the last round, but then, unfortunate, just、uh, didn't quite manage to close out. Panda's new move looks scary. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta rewatch that trailer.、Um, the promo that they did. So I'm wondering if. I, I assume that everybody's gonna be getting at least one new move. So I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with Lily, with Asasena, Zafina. You know, now, now that I play Zafina, I, I was all like, oh crap, they're starting off with Zafina. That, that's tight. Ooh, is this gonna tag him? Okay. Alright. I mean, he used the Rage Heart, but he stopped his momentum, so it gives him some breathing room here. It allows him to get an opportunity at the wall.、Ooh. Dang, man. Ooh, good sidestep into the launch. Alright, gotta make this count. Okay. Alright. I think he might have been trying to aim for the wall bound. Wall blast, whatever. Ooh! Alright, spends the heat. Okay. Pressure at the wall. Alright, gets, he gets tagged. Come on, infested! Infested, man. 
What was I saying? It's like he gets momentum, but he just isn't able to close out. Dang, it's either he gets launched, or he gets parried, power crushed. It sucks, man. Good. Oh, he didn't parry Junkyard. Okay, but he got that duck and launch. Oh, we try to go for a stop there. Oh, it gets blocked. That's going to hurt. Good punish. Oh, it's his last shot. Now, look at look at how much life Law got back. Okay. Counter hit. It's going to be a wall bound, right? Oh, not quite. Ooh, what happened? Now, Law's in rage. He might actually do it. Oh. Dang. Well, I mean, there goes Nina from the tournament. I was hoping to see more Nina. Ah, dang it, man. That sucks. It seems like he cracks under pressure. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely seemed like... I, I can see that. You know, it's a big stage. Nerves are going to get to you. No matter who you are, you're going to get affected by the nerves um yeah he just couldn't close out he it's like he wasn't playing bad it's just that he, it just couldn't clutch it out unfortunately it happens it sucks when it happens but yeah i mean look at this right here see Look at that right there. He went for a low high that can easily get ducked. And it just so happened that Mongjo was ready for it. So every time it looked like... Did he get a round? Because he got 3 0 the first match. And then the way he got up there on it, that was a... I don't know, probably not the best decision to wake up low. Because he got 3 0 Yeah, I don't think he won a single round, did he? I forget already. See, like, right there, uh, Infested had the momentum at the wall. And then, look, he just turned around the, the momentum right there. Yeah, he didn't win a round. He got 3-0'd twice for a 6 -0. Oh, boy. Oh man, no round brown or whatever the heck. Yeah, I think I think he might have been a little bit too nervous. Maybe matchup experience as well. I'm not sure how familiar he is with uh, Law's new game plan. So now we have uh, what is this? Chanel versus. Who, who is the guy on the left? Is that? I think that might be double. I think I saw his uh, name on the list. I wonder if there's going to be any additional announcements at the end of top six. I kind of doubt it. I think they really just, you know, gave us all they got, but... Um, It'd be a nice surprise if there was. Like, maybe a timeline for when the new patch is going to happen. Did they say it? I know there were... Let me, let me see. I think I can pull up the trailer on my phone. Because um, I think there was a general outline for when that is going to come back. No, there, there's no um, there's no scheduled date for the battle balance. Yeah, yeah. I just I just pulled it up on my phone. It just it just gives you the time, like yeah, the uh, the seasons, spring, summer, whatever, fall. 
It's gonna be online practice mode and ghost versus ghost. They were talking about ghost versus ghost, and that I that's the, that's an idea that I actually like. Um, have player ghosts fight other player ghosts. Online practice mode is gonna be big because you know just the other day I was kind of teaching you a few things with Asasena. Tekken Tag Tournament Two. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 had online practice mode. Why didn't Tekken 7 have it? Why didn't Tekken 8 have it on release? What the heck? Like, it's crazy. But I'm glad that it's coming back because it's a useful tool. You know, we'll be able to practice online and have productive sessions. Like, So, if anything, I at least hope that Harada and Michael Murray come back and give us a timeline. Alright, there's a patch in May coming out. We know it's coming out in May, but I want to know when. Like, I mean, May is this week. It's... May is on Wednesday, I believe. It's the first, first day of May. So, when in May? Good duck on that. Good duck. Uh -oh. Wow, he tanked that. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that was scary. Alisa chainsaws are insane, man. Dang, nice option. Ooh, okay. Dude, Alisa chainsaws are so oppressive. They're better in this game than any other game she's been in. It's crazy. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, nice down forward two there. Just like that into full combo and to the wall. Okay. Nice duck. He knows it. Dang. Okay. Good start for double. Oh, I thought the, I thought he had the back right there, like for a full combo. Okay, heat engager. Probably gonna go downstairs balcony break. He's going for the pressure. Oh, he prevailed. Oh, he's done. Okay, crazy. He <laughs> look at him. Look at his reaction. I was all like, oh crap, dude. <laughs> I felt that drop. And he knew it too. <laughs> I could have easily gone wrong. Sometimes that's enough to let your opponent come back, right? It's crazy. Double looks like he's uh, playing a lot more confident. Okay. Now, this part of this stage is really dangerous because every wall is going to blast you, right? Oh, like, here it comes, right? Oh, there we go, just like I said. Uh oh. Oh. Is that going to hit? Wow, that's guarantee? I didn't know that. I mean, I know. 
I know how to play Elisa, but you know some of the more key hidden details uh, I still gotta learn, but it's good to know. Dang. You know what? Um, I like that the new rules of TWT force you to change stage at random. Um, I like it just because it adds a little bit more variety, right? And it allows the game to showcase all the nice stages, design that they work so hard on. I prefer it a lot more to friggin' Tekken 7 where literally every, if you lost, like, the most common thing was like, round, match one, random stage, right? Then the loser would most likely take you to an infinite stage, right? And then it'd just be a backdashing game, poke, backdash. A lot of players were famous for that, some more than others, but I like that Tekken 8 doesn't have infinite stages. They're probably going to come back at some point, maybe, I don't know. But I do like that they force you to change stages, just so you could, uh, um, you know, add more variety. Man, Double was doing so good. Now Chanel just bringing it back. Two very quick rounds. Okay. Good duck. Good duck. That was good. Good reactions. Dang, what a combo. Wow. You see that? Very nice. I would have actually been annoyed. It would have been upsetting if he didn't get a perfect there. After that much of a commanding round, it's like, dang, he deserves a perfect. Now here comes the chainsaws. Look how powerful the chainsaws are. Those are hard to deal with. Crap. <laughs> Look at the life, dude. Oh, man, he has one more shot. Oh my gosh. One final mix up can do it. One final mix up can do it. That comeback. Holy crap. I almost fell out of my chair. What a comeback by double. This game is tight. See, I love the aggressive gameplay. It's so refreshing compared to Tekken 7. Oh man, I. I... Oh, let's see if Doug, uh, Double can bring it back. Oh. Elisa's chip damage. Oh my jeez. What is it? Oh, he had it. He had it. Oh, punish. Oh, crap. The life coming back, though. The life coming back. Big whiff. Oh, that... crap. Oh. Oh, did you see the ending of that match, dude? That was a great match at the end. Hey, good job by Double. I was really hoping he would bring, uh, he would bring it back. He was this close. Oh, my. Uh, that sucks, dude. It would have been great to see him advance. That was an exciting gameplay of Law. Like, once he picked it up... Dang. Now he was a freaking full-on aggressive momentum shift after that. Holy moly. He almost had it, too. 
I think there was one key whiff at the end of that last round that last round that kind of uh, got Chanel the victory. Patch notes tomorrow? Oh, what time? They should drop it right now. I wait till tomorrow. <laughs> wait, okay, so patch notes tomorrow. When's the actual patch? Because usually they release patch notes and then they give us... They release patch notes and then the same sentence give us the patch date. ま、そもそもこのドラゴンフューリーがまあ、届かなかったみたいな。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
結構打ってきますね、うん、あとまあ隙はある技ですがやはり強力な性能を持っている中段有利かな下を打ち続けるマチクリン<笑>じわじわ削る、うん、That move is hard to duck like I know everybody knows it's a high but it's hard to duck Sometimes you're on point and do it but It's a bit tricky Very nice, very nice I like that I just realized I've been slouching in my chair so much. I'm probably gonna. My back is gonna not be happy with me when I wake up tomorrow, bro. I like the pace that the tournament is going, like, really, really fast. Everything's, you know, flowing smoothly. What, we're in winner's finals now. So, yeah. I like how Tech and Twitter, their Twitter account, has to emphasize the word free. This stage is still crazy to me. It's it's such a well designed stage. What the heck? I think what's crazy about this stage is that they're actually fighting in outer space. I didn't realize that until I noticed the back. That's actually Earth in the background. Look at all the comments and meteors. Like I didn't I didn't notice that until like today, basically. <laughs> Um, like right now, basically, or whatever the heck. They're fighting in space, that's crazy. Man, these characters are built different. What are they breathing? Ooh, he had that. Good jump. Oh, that's death. That was a complete turnaround by Lohan. <laughs> Nice combo. Dang. Ooh, under? Oh, 
Keeping up with chat here, but like, I mean, like, we're all seeing how strong Lily can be. It's really interesting. I think we're seeing a a glimpse into uh, Lily and Lisa, who, like I said, I've been saying they've been flying under the radar. Uh, only people who play those characters actually know how good they are. Everybody else is like they. It's like they kind of know, but not really. And if they do, not to the extent, right? This is like we've all been keeping quiet about it. This is my favorite stage, Yakushima. I like the stage a lot. Ooh, that could have been it. That could have been it. Oh, he didn't pull the trigger. Back turn three. Uh, dude, he, he could have. He had pulled the trigger on that. If that didn't kill by itself, he just could have gotten a freaking a what up. And then that would have been the end of that. Still the first round. He can make a comeback. Chikorin just needs to win this and he'll advance the grand final. So the pressure is definitely on here. Nice option. What up? Second time in a row. Okay, gotcha. Finishes it. Sometimes you gotta do it. Down 4-3 for the win. One round away from grand finals. I like it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. My bad, I thought he had already had one round. I don't know how I confused that. On the board is Chikorin. So let's see if he can get these next two rounds. He does have uh, room for error, but you don't really want to make mistakes at this because everything counts. I mean, he has another game to work with, but like I said, you don't really want to give your opponent that opportunity. It's just more data they're collecting on you. And, yeah, down three, throw, it almost looked like he didn't break that. Oh, he pulled the trigger on that, what up for the KO? That's what should have happened the first round that he had lost. One round away from grand finals, this time for real. Set point. Heat engager. Nice block. Toe kick for the uh, wake up. Blocks it down forward two, gets a punish into the what up. It, with heat, by the way. Okay, shoulder by Dragonov. Ooh, down forward two by Drano into the full combo. This is going to hurt. He's probably going to activate heat right here. Yep. Oh, he just went for it. Okay. I mean, at that point, yeah, you got to spend it. Final round. Good sidestep. Good sidestep. I thought it was going to be a launch, though. Down one, two into the what up. He pulled the trigger that time it got blocked okay blocks the uh the downward swing okay down one goes for forward four okay hop kick this might be it there you go chikorin with lily grand finals Yeah, 
ストサムライ。ラストサムライが。まあ、もう名実そうに今回ラストサムライになってるわけですけど。あ、そうですね。来ましたね。エボジャパンでは、はい、あの2020年ギロイジャパン以外では。唯一のグランドファイナル選手になるとか。で,ですかね。うん、2018もシャネルに。Just trying to see what's going on here. I like the replay system that they have. I mean, it seems like every big tournament has this now, but there was a time when that wasn't the case. But I do like seeing all the key moments、uh, that just happened. It's pretty sick. Dude, I could hear that over my headphones, so you, I know you heard the cops out there. Freaking sirens going outside. Oh boy. Dude, I'm looking at the screenshots for Lydia right now. She looks nice. I'm so glad that I learned how to play her. So I think we have what two more matches, right? No, three more. So losers semifinal, losers final, and then grand final. So three more matches. We're kind of flying by this through this tournament. Do they really get right into it? This first two. Oh, that tagged him there. Okay. 
先ほどダブル戦でねあそこからのパワーショット目立ちましたから、菅田選手は良さそうだ。ですね。早めに走って。押し込んでいく。いやー、うまい。オーバーロードナックル。パワークラッシュ強いですね。で今回、うん、あの 7RP っていうコマンドに変更になってるんで、はいうん、かなり打ちやすいですよね。相模状態からでもあの技が出るということで、うん、結構鉄拳。All the back. Oh crap. 優秀なパワークラッシュですよね。はいどうしてもいいですね。That'd be something because that would mean the grand finals of Evo Japan, the first major, major tournament for Tekken 8, would be with characters who have. who are good, but、uh, haven't really been the focus. It'd be kind of refreshing to see, to be honest. Good. Oh, I was going to say good parry, but he didn't parry. He blocked, but he didn't parry. Dang. Nice flyaway. Wow. Good combo there. Oh. Oh, that's death. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's unfortunate. It looked like. Dang. <laughs> That always sucks, like when you have a really sick combo and you have all the momentum, but you can't close out. And then you're like, man, I had that. <laughs> He's not parrying the junkyard. Alright. This might be what he needs, though. This might be what,、uh, what, what's needed for m a n g j a to make a comeback. Okay, good slide, good slide. I'm actually surprised that freaking head move didn't hit him. Oh, the chainsaws come out, it's a problem. Activates heat, that's good though. Chanel does it as well, right back at him. Ooh. Ooh. Is it? Wow. What a combo. Wow. All he needs is one launcher. Okay, that, that works as well.、Oh, Spence a heat smash. Watch out for rage. Oh, 
How did... Ooh, look how nervous they are. Wow. There are like so many situations where Manja could have killed, but... Oh, and then, and then Chanel... Dude, that was a sick round. Really intense under. Hey, what's going on? No pandas in finals. It's, uh... Lily is in grand finals, actually. Yeah, Chikorin with Lily is in grand finals. Nah, no bear, no rank two. A lot of key players got eliminated in like top 24 or something. Like, like Nii got taken out, JDCR, Kudans. Uh, yeah, a lot of good players just didn't make it a top six. Is Arslan Ashen? No. Nobody from Pakistan made it because of visa issues. So there's literally no Pakistani players in this tournament. It's always something with their visa. They're like that's why a lot of them can't fly out. So I don't know what's going on there, but uh, you know, it's always a it's always a struggle. Wow. <laughs> I w I, sometimes I do that. Even though I know literally one hit would kill, I opt, sometimes I opt for a rage art just because... Two reasons. Number one, it looks cool. Number two, I might just want to drink water, just kind of take a breather. Like, alright, let me hydrate here. Rage Art is always just safe to do at the end of a round. Ooh, big whiff. Oh, that sucks. He had it. He, Chanel had whiffed. He got a launcher. Didn't get the combo, though. He's still in a good position here. Just needs one more hit. And there it is. Any surprises in the top players? Not really. I mean... It's kind of... Um, the usual people you would suspect would make top eights or, you know, whatever the heck. I mean, they're there. I mean, the only player who I'm not familiar with is actually Mangja, this guy right here with the law. Oh. And that's it for him, though. Dang, he's out at fourth. Dude, they're just going straight to it, man. Like, there's absolutely no breaks between the matches. Dude, Tekken 8 is number 3 on Twitch right now. 
That's pretty sick. Yeah, it's only below just chatting and Valorant. Tekken 8, I think, would be higher, but a lot of people are streaming Tekken 8 under the category Special Events. So, I mean, already, like, Evo's official channel, like 17.5k. That alone would uh, it would propel it to second place, basically. I don't think anything's ever going to top just chatting, but <laughs> it'd be pretty cool. I'm actually glad that um, that this started at a reasonable time for me. You, it, even though it's at night, I'm glad that it started at a at a reasonable time because I'm starting to feel it. Like, uh, like I'm starting to feel myself get tired and want to go to bed. I've been up very like, jeez, I woke up at like what? Seven today? Eight? So this is going to be Elisa versus Dragonov. Um... Or maybe Lohai might go Shaheen. I don't know. Alright, he sticks with Dragunov. I wonder if he's going to go Shaheen if he loses. Ooh! Zafina representation in top six? Loser's final by Chanel? Oh! I'm actually... I'm going to watch this closely because I've just been... I'm learning how to play Zafina right now. I know how to play her, but like, it's, hey, learning. Hold up, I'm gonna I'm a tweet about this. Dude, I, I I did not expect um Safina to be honest. I love that red dress. That red outfit's pretty sick. Ooh, I think that. that ooh, that sucks. That sucks. Ah, oh, dang. He missed a crucial punish there. That could have been two rounds up. I wonder what the thinking behind picking Zafina is versus um, him sticking with Elisa. Crap. Oh, that sucks. Look at the damage. Wow. Oh, 
I know one good launch and Safina could turn this around. Oh, went for the heat smash. Recovered some life though. Goes for the save. He went for the save four forward two there. Dragonov pushing him back. That was it. He didn't pull the trigger. He didn't pull the trigger on that. He had the he had the uh, while standing one two, but he did not pull the trigger. Unfortunate. I wonder if he's uh, gonna switch to Elisa. Yeah, I heard Elisa. I think the Chanel could have won with Safina, but there were some things that uh, didn't quite work out. Especially at the end of that for that last round, he could have gotten a while standing one too. Didn't commit. Uh, yeah, didn't commit to it. So unfortunate there. But uh, maybe Elisa will work out for him. Wow, caught him on the float, on the fly-in, wow. He's gonna go for heat, heat smash, yep. Oh man. This is good. Okay, goes for the throw. Okay, okay. Alright. Dang, unfortunate on the whiff. That's gonna be death. He has heat activated too, plus it's dragon off. Oh, that's it. Dang, three straight rounds for low high. Now Chanel has a lot to work for. Dude, he he, he has to win three in a row versus low high, and he has to commit to one character now. Okay, so he's sticking with Elisa. I was wondering, like, is he going to go back? Is he going to pull, like, a rabbit out of a hat or something? <laughs> Bad whiff. Oh, man. Good jabs. Oh, that's going to be a wall splat. Yep. Elisa activated. What is that? What? I don't know what happened there. I don't... Pff, dang. Oh, he might lose the round because of that. Dragonov. Heat activated. Whiffs. Doesn't quite get the punish on the back turn because of how much momentum he has from the consecutive swings, right? Nice duck. That's a nice duck. That's death. Dude, I think Lohai, I think Lohai has this. It's, Chanel seems like he's not quite, he's struggling. Good hop kick, I like that. That might be what he needs.
Wow. I'm surprised it didn't activate either. Okay, hold up. Oof. I think one thing they're oh man I got it. perfect I'm curious to see if they're gonna tone down some of the chip damage on some moves um, with the new balance patch that's gonna come out so Chanel has to I mean really like he ha he has a mountain to climb at this point well, he might be able to do it oh yep yeah, he got around <laughs> Ends it with style with the throw. Alright. Alright, so he still has a shot here. He blocks it all. Okay, gets a knockdown. Jabs him out of the... Looks like he was going to do a running two there. Did that realign? Alright, chainsaw is activated. Chainsaw is activated again. Into the wall. Dragonov feeling the pressure by Elisa. Smacks her down. Okay, misses the stop. Heat activated by Elisa. Alright, at the wall. Chainsaw is very dangerous. Dragonov with the momentum at the moment. Gets him at the wall. Dragonov activates heat. Oh man, who is gonna win this? Dragonov in rage and he did not break the throw. And he taunts him, dude. Gave him the headphones. Okay, a little bit of a mind game right there. Trying to get him flustered. It's a valid strat. You gotta do anything you can to get in your opponent's head and kind of throw them off their game a little bit so Chanel's still in it not quite out yet alright good punish one two it's the chainsaws are what really wow good back swing blow it's interesting that in auto tornadoes I mean I guess it makes sense but yeah, I was going to say something I forgot, though. Good punish. Okay. Oh, that might hit him. Yep. So, like, once Elisa goes into chainsaw stance, dude, you're, you got to fight for your life there, man. Okay. Not quite in rage, so Elisa not in rage. So he doesn't have to worry about uh, rage art. Ooh, good block, good block. Ducks it. He ducked it that time. I think it was a bit of an early duck, but it did work out in his favor. Those lows from Chainsaw are doing a lot of damage. That's going to be it. Chanel's bringing it back. Low high seemed in control. Not so much anymore. Okay. Heat activated with a Chainsaw swing right out of the gate. But now Dragonov gets a launcher. Oh, man. Into the wall. Full combo. Jeez, look at that damage. Holy moly. Oh, that might be it for Chanel. For this round, at least. Oh, yeah. Good combo. <laughs> no, I think he's voicing his disapproval over Dragonov at that point, I think. I don't know what he was doing, to be honest. Dude. Oh, he's bringing it back. Alright, low high on set point once again. Throw no break. A lot of throws not being broken today. 
Those nerves and per oh, dude, they're getting to Chanel. Like, I mean, it's tournament nerves are a real thing. You feel the pressure. You're not gonna be perfect. Oh, that's it. Oh, Chanel, that's it. Dang. Oh, that that sucked. That, that was an unfor uh, unfortunate way to end it. I don't think Lohai had ducked that in, in like a single time. You have to be ducking a duck the high, but hey, well played by Chanel. I would have loved to have seen um, Lily versus Elisa in Grand Finals. That would have been cool. But we're going to have a uh, Lily versus Dragonov matchup. First three, uh, we're, uh, let's hope let's hope uh, Chikorin can get it. I want Chikorin to get it just because he, he plays Lily. He's also the uh, from Japan, hometown advantage, all that good stuff. This Zafina pick could have worked out, but right here he missed a while standing one, two. Look, 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 right here. Watch, watch, watch what happens. Right there, he had it. That he had that right there. I think that was probably the beginning of the end for him because, I mean, that, that move is hard. I mean, like, if he pulled the trigger, he would have gotten the KO 100%, assuming he did the right combo. It's like Lohai was really on point with the uh, launchers and the whiff punishes. Punishers, whatever the heck. Um, dang. This was a pretty good round because he like ended. <laughs> I like this one right here. Yeah, that was cool. This right here, that was like he. Oh, dude, he anticipated that. What a read! Like that was a hundred percent like a accurate guess at the moment. So grand finals, we might hear, we might be here for uh, only a short period of time. We might be here for a reset. So, could be anywhere between like the next fifteen to thirty minutes. We'll be here. Got to, got to plug their sponsors here. Look at all that. Eye drops. Uh, I don't know what they're saying, but uh, they, they gotta, they gotta advertise their eye drops. You know, eye strain comes with a lot of uh, gaming marathons, you know, tournament players, all that. Right? Imagine he didn't need them, <laughs> and he still just did it because because the sponsors told him to. All right, we got grand finals coming up. Dude, that trophy could be so much better. That thing is small for a major this big. At least, like, make it more creative, add more flair to it, you know, more. Like, look at that thing. I mean, I guess I can get it, maybe there, I don't know. Maybe they had in mind, hey, the winner might have to uh, fly, so, <laughs> you know, we'll want to get them to 
be able to get it through TSA. I don't know. Steve Fox. Really? Okay, okay. Alright. Nice change of pace. So Steve Fox versus Lily. Dang, that was quick. Wow. Dude, that almost got him to the wall, too. Heat smash spent. I thought it was going to go for like some type of guard break there at the wall. Let me activate heat. Okay. Hey, now, we all know she can make a comeback. Give her the right moves. QCF like 2 1 might be coming. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, final mix up. Oh, the forward four on the counter hit for the win. Those long legs coming in clutch right there, dude. Key move to use, remember. I, I made sure to point that out. Good sidestep into the hop kick. Full combo coming up. Is he going to activate heat? Does not. Finishes it. Okay. Now, if Lohai loses with Steve, I'm wondering who he's going to bring up. There's only so much room you can use to experiment because he needs to get on the board, right? Good hop kick. This might be the KO. Heat? Yep. He's gotten so many people with that. The Feisty Rabbit 3 into the what up? That Steve pick didn't quite work out for Lohai there. I mean, it's hard. You know, he's been playing, what, Dragon Off all day, all tournament probably, and then the Switch. It's going to be... Not many people can make that switch. I know I can't. It takes me a while to get going if I switch a character. Ah, back to Dragon Ball, all right. Dude, he's been landing those hop kicks a lot. Oh, nice awareness on the spacing. Dude, that get that's gotten him so many like so many KOs just come from that. I'm surprised nobody's blocked or parried the attempt. I mean, but of course, if somebody, somebody's gonna try, that's the one time he'll go mid or something. Ooh, nice. Down one, down one again. Okay. 
、うん、よくカード間に合ったちょっと難しいですからねよくカードしましたパクリップ LP でお茶を濁すあっ I kind of just want Chikra in a win because Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Lily, you know, and、uh, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I've been up so early. Ooh, he blocked it that time. All right, he was ready for it. Seems like the pace has slowed down a little bit, and then he gets a counter hit. Dang. One round, and then he's going to go up two rounds. Two rounds. Two games. Good parry. I like this combo. Oh, drops it. Okay. Down three. What up? Oh, one more. Yep, that's death. Alright, so Chikrin is up two games. Oh, is that Lohai?、Uh, sorry,、uh, Chanel looks like he's、uh, coaching Lohai. I wonder what, what kind of things do they say to them? I'm wondering, like, what's he saying to Lohai at the moment? So he, he, you know, obviously he's like, oh, you know, he probably got to beat this move or whatever. You know, use this to be that move, right? So, so Lohai is committed to Dragonov. He has to、uh, win and reset the bracket before he,、uh, before he can、uh, switch characters again. Hands are shaking. Are the knees weak? Or whatever the heck. Dude, tournament nerves. I... Okay. Alright, l adjustment. Alright. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, tournament nerves, adrenaline, it's pumping at the moment right now. Oh crap. Oh, that thing is hard to duck. Two rounds away from closing out this tournament. Dude, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the, the conversation around Lily after this tournament win. Because this weekend, people are realizing that Lily and Elisa are good. More than we thought. More than they thought. Because, like, you had, um,. Dang, one round away. You had Texas Showdown with Elisa and Lily in top three. Evo Japan, same deal. Lily and Elisa in top three. Alright, Lohai not out of it just yet. This is his round. So he's got to make it count. He has all the momentum right now. Perfect, alright. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, Chukran has this. He, if he goes into.、Um, he activates heat right now. That, it's his game. Activate heat right now. He doesn't even need it. The momentum. Yeah, I don't even need heat. The momentum. Hey, congratulations to Chikorin.
Congratulations to Lily. I like it. GG's. Dang, he just goes for the trophy and lifts it up. <laughs> he didn't even wait for it to be presented to him. I think, I think he was supposed to wait for someone to present it to him. I don't know how it works. Usually that's how it goes. There we go. Good, good. Yeah, throw the confetti out. Yep, just do it. Oh yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Good result. Here. Is Twitter broken? No, I don't think it is. Good job. Yeah, good job to Chikorin. I like it. Good ending. 